Hello students, today in this video we are going to learn how to find the LCM. In this video we will be covering few examples of finding LCM of 2 and 3 numbers. LCM as the name suggests is the least common multiple. That means it is the number which is the least common multiple of, of all the numbers of which we are finding the LCM. For example, if we will find the least common multiple of 2, 12, and 18 we are going to get a number which is least multiple of all the three numbers and it is common to all the numbers that means the number which will be the LCM of all the three numbers will be in the tables of 2 tables of 12 and tables of 18 so let us now find the LCM of the three numbers. For finding the LCM, we make use of the method of prime factorization. Prime factorization as the name suggests is the method in which we divide these numbers by prime numbers and find the factors of these numbers. And after finding all the factors of these numbers, we will be able to find the LCM of all the three numbers. So let's divide all these numbers by prime numbers. Prime numbers are numbers which are divisible by 1 and the number itself. First few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. So let's start our prime factorization method for finding the LCM of these three numbers. We'll start with the lowest prime number which is 2. And we see that 2 is factor of all the three numbers and all three numbers are fully divisible by 2. So we will use 2 to divide all the three numbers. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 9 is 18. Now we have 6 and 9, we will use 2 to divide 6. This first number 2 is fully divided and we get the quotient 1. So we will write it as is. We keep on dividing the numbers until we get the quotient of all the numbers as 1. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 9 is not fully divisible by 2 so we will write it as is. Now we see that we have two numbers 3 and 9. These two numbers are not fully divisible by 2 so we will use the next prime number which is 3. So 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 3 is 9. Next we will divide it by 3 cause 3 is a prime number. And it is only divisible by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3. Now we get all the quotients as 1. That means all the numbers are fully divided. Now the LCM of the 3 numbers will be the product of all the numbers which are on the left hand side of the ladder. So 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 is the LCM of 2, 12 and 18. So let's find it out. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 3 is 36. So the LCM of all the 3 numbers is 36. That means 36 comes in the table of 2, 12 and 18 and it is the least common multiple. You can check that 12 times 3 is 36, 2 times 18 is 36 and 18 times 2 is 36. So the LCM of these 3 numbers is 36. Now let us solve one more example and find the LCM of 25 and 135 using the prime factorization method. So let's divide 75 and 135 using prime numbers. So as both the numbers are odd, let's divide the two numbers by 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 1 is remainder, this becomes 15, 3 times 5 is 15. Now 3 times 4 is 12, 1 is remainder, this becomes 15, 3 times 5 is 15. Again we can use 3 to divide 45. So as 25 is not fully divisible by 3 we are going to write it as is. 3 times 1 is 3, 1 is remainder this becomes 15 and 3 times 5 is 15. Again we are going to use 3 to divide 15. 25 is not fully divisible we are going to write it as is and 3 times 5 is 15. Now 25 and 5 both are divisible by 5. 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 times 1 is 5 and 1 is as is. Both the numbers are fully divided. Now LCM will be the product of all the numbers which are on the left hand side of the ladder. 
so 3 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5 is the LCM of the two numbers let us calculate it 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 so 27 times 5 is 5 times 7 is 35 3 carried over 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3 is 135 so 27 times 5 is 135 times 5 5 times 5 is 25 2 is carried over 5 times 3 is 15 15 plus 2 is 17 1 carried over 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 6 so it comes out to be 675 so the LCM of both the numbers 75 and 135 is 675 so this is how by using the prime factorization method we can find the LCM of any number easily. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.